Hey, welcome back to Big Board. Here we go. Let's have a look at the Armored Knights system. Uh, this is a Guderian crosses the Desna 1941. I thought what I would do is hopefully uh, Chris Fasulo will look at this video because uh, I'm going to shove it in his face, make sure he sees it, and, uh, and answer some questions for me because I, I just have a few uh, organizational queries about and, and confirmational queries. In fact, they're really not issues. They're just, hey, is this right? So for a, let's call it desktop published game, uh, there are a lot of supporting charts and assistant type things to help you get squared away. First of which, of course, is the order of battle here. And it's what we're going to spend most of the time on. But I thought I'd share with you just a little bit here. Uh, there's a, a chart for each of the scenarios. Uh, I've got the rest of them in a box, so I'm not going to get them out. But it gives you setup areas and arrival areas and things of that nature. And then a legend on the right hand side, which, you know, unfortunately, you know, border wise, it's not particularly attractive. It's kind of cut off on the end and then you've got some residual uh, on this side. So that's all because it's done manually, I would imagine, and that's okay. But uh, as we read down here, it gives us all the details on what has to go on and then suck it up, get your magnifying glass out, read all this stuff. There's some special rules that are gonna be built in here. There's a uh, victory conditions here, which none of which I have read yet. <laughs> so we're gonna to get to all of that good fun stuff in another video. What I wanted to, so, so my point about this is really nice setup chart that allows us to take a look at the full map, <clears throat> understand what's going on, understand where the forces potentially could be. We don't have very, we don't have specific setup hexes, which, you know, there's uh, two or more schools of thought in that regard, whether you want to be exactly where in the building that a particular uh, set of companies or battalions were and where they put their, uh, you know, hedgehog style uh, fortifications. But you've got that to deal with. And you've got, uh, you know, where do you want to put the forces, right? So we'll work all through all that and we'll probably muddle around a little bit. Uh, before we get too serious about playing hard and being competitive with ourselves about how things all kind of work out. All right. Well, let's have a look at the uh, this, this order of battle. <clears throat> now, a lot of the time, uh, a, a company or publishers will either not really give you the full order of battle, and it'll be just here are the units, have at it, and here's where they go. Or you'll have something along uh, the lines of, uh, the first one that comes to mind, in fact, is uh, multi-man publishing with a TCS system, which would be getting, well, not TCS, I guess, because that's a platoon scale, but similar idea. That and the, uh, the obviously, the OCS system give you an order of battle, and you can see where all the units are, what they're all comprised of, and all that sort of fun stuff. Now here, uh, this has some very handy charts that lay out what's required. And this is done by, uh, this is the, uh, what are these guys? This is the Soviets so over here on the right. That's right, the rifle division here. So this is the 307th. And then it has these you know, okay, so I need three of these 12-6 formations, uh, battalions. And then I need three or four, actually, of the 307th uh, formation. But when I look closer, I go, hang on a sec, that's the 307th Rifle Division. I want HQ 1019. When I first look at that, do I go, do I want four HQs? That doesn't sound right because I've read the rules and I know what the hell's going on. So uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna uh, ignore that. But what that means is, I need four units that belong to that formation. So I've got I I found those guys because they're all sort of in line. So I take the ten nineteen, 
and they're all going to go in here. So not a big deal, but I, th I, you know, I think that's that's how that's supposed to work. And what I guess what would have been an, uh, either uh, helpful or nice because there was a little bit of sort of surfing around and trying to find units and, and bits and pieces in uh, on the counter chart. And I'm thinking longer term, right? If we get into this <coughs> as a system and we're looking at this particular system or, you know, goodness forbid, we get into the death ride system where there are dozens of these sheets and dozens and dozens of counter sheets digging around with these small fonts on the counters while readable individually at some point come, you know, your 15th or 20th counter sheet setting this up becomes less uh, more and more difficult and less intuitive and, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second when we get over the excuse me get over to the Germans this all makes sense here I know I've got these uh, uh, AT guns here for instance I need three of those and they're all the same and I need three of these this is uh, unit A and then I'm gonna guess that I need A B and C okay so I, I got that but come over to the German side. I'm going to switch the camera around here. And hopefully we can set this up. My base of my camera has uh, cracked and I have it glued back together with modeling glue. So just bear with me here for a second. I'm trying to be very tender with it. All right. So in this mess here, uh, we've got one military intelligence unit, an HQ unit, and then this said HQ third third Panzer group, third Panzer division eight six. And I know because I did the Russians first. That means I'm going to try and find some units that are, you know, third. Well, that says three nine four there. Uh, take it right once. Yeah, okay, 304, 304. So I need three units that go here. Uh, this doesn't have the regimental ID on it, or does it? Yes, it does. So the HQ has the, whoops. Sorry, the HQ has the 394. This diagram here, this little guy here, is, I guess, wrong, because this just says HQ, 3rd Panzer Division, 2nd Panzer Group. And that's not what this is. So that, that caused a little bit of discomb discombobulation. Uh, we worked that out and we then went to this guy. Now this guy's a little bit different because he has different units. Uh, knowing that I'm now looking for, oh, so here we go. Maybe I'm wrong. 394 is over here. Here's 394. So maybe that's what I did wrong. And then this is, here's the HQ, you can't see it. Here's the HQ here for that guy. And then I guess then these two divisions, or sorry, divisions, battalions, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a different format, right? So there's a, a motorized infantry and then there's a, looks like a motorized, uh, or yeah, tracked uh, tracked infantry. I'm sorry, I've got. I can't see the screen very well because I'm off to one side. So my apologies for waving bits around. So that okay. So that goes there. So that's good. So that's correct. So we're good there. So I have no issues from here. <laughs> but here now, now this is where it gets a little tricky because I've got uh, six of these guys, but they're all well. There's three t different types. There's two of these dudes. There's three of these dudes. And there's one of these dudes. And I guess I would need to just follow along with the uh, individual formation units. Cause see how the, they all say three, right? So that's obviously the, the third battalion or third company or something of that nature, I guess. I'm not a military guy, but I like to play military games and I like to pretend that I'm a military person on weekends. Uh, all right, same, uh, uh, because I've read the rules, I know that this engineering unit is uh, motorized and tracked, uh, half tracked probably, and that I've got these two other guys. So I know that all those engineering guys really end up there. So I guess one of the things, given the large number of charts, the large number of uh, bits and pieces of paper that are proudly 
given to you in this game. It would have been cool or would be cool maybe to publish a PDF style version of all of this and, and give me, you know, for Death Ride or for the Armored Battalion series uh, by module, just give me the OB with the number of units and, and maybe, you know, maybe not even the icons, but just who belongs where by unit type and unit designation. Uh, and that would help because we get these color stripes, which are great. But because we're breaking things down to such a fine degree, we're down to company levels uh, activities here. Um, sorry, uh, platoon level activities here. And uh, is that right? Yeah. No, battalions and companies. Fuck. Get it right, Sharp. Uh, there we go. Uh, so there's that. So I think it would be cool to have an OB for each module so that we can just check in and see what's going on. All right, I'm gonna keep setting up. I'm gonna clip these guys, get some units on the board, and uh, probably not gonna to get to this till late next week, because uh, I'm, I'm out of town all week at a, at a gaming con, no less. But uh, look forward for more video as we uh, explore and uh, dig into Armour Knights from Gonyard Simulations. All the best.